Monaco aim to maintain their recent resurgence domestically after hitting a speed bump in Europe. Three wins in all competitions snapped with a shock defeat the Stade Louis Du by Ferris Varos in the Europa League conference. But Philip Clermont hoped to make it a trio of wins in Ligue 1 Uber Eats against their hosts. Grants without a win at the Stade Auguste Dunant since April. Just a fifth start of the campaign for Wissim Ben Yedder and a first in September. Clermont pairing him with Briel Mbolo in a 4-4-2. Oscar Garcia making sure to keep an eye on proceedings and he'd have been happy looking on as Rance got on the front foot. Albert Zanelli finding a good shooting opportunity but directly at Alexander Nubel. In the fashion of young stoppers getting their chance in Liga Uber Eats, a first start of the season, second ever in the top flight for Gevan Juf. France under 19 international, denying full international with Simbenieta. And yet the match seemed to turn an innocuous challenge. Bradley Loco catching Mbolo. The referee Marc Bollinger reaching for a red card. The first of the 20 year old's career. Spanish boss Garcia going Loco for the sending off of Loco. Monaco had had three reds in three successive home matches. Loco's is Rance's fifth of the season already. Marshall Manuzzi with the final chance of the half. Stad failed to keep a clean sheet in the last 30 league outings. Monaco have scored in their past 17 league games. There seemed to be only one outcome despite the goal as half-time score. That was punctured though by Alexander Gullivan. Monaco on course to go four and beat to the Stade Auguste Toulon. Axel De Zassi with an assist on his 100th league and Uber Eats appearance. The Centurion perfectly picking out the Russian for his first of the season and since April. Substitute Mohamed Kamara signed from Salzburg for 50 million euros. Mali International denied brilliantly by Juf. The Rans fans trying to keep the faith, but Juf was looking for some support. Standing firm though, the youngster against Ben Yedder again. Gullivan's work done. Takumi Minamino on alongside Martin Jelsens. The home side refused to buckle despite the man down. Andreo Gravelin never scored for Rance. That didn't change here. Two goals in Lorient's colours, one actually coming against Monaco. Instead, it was the Principality Club that took the lead. Takumi Minamino finally sparkling in a Monaco shirt. It's been difficult for the Japanese international since signing from Liverpool showing his quality to put Monaco 2-0 up and en route to victory and before the final whistle added gloss a first for Gullivan a first for Minamino and a first of the season for the captain just his third 90 minutes of the season yet it took him until September last season to get off the mark he ended with 25 goals, his best ever tally. So the number 10 can't be ruled out now. He's up and running. 3-0. And Monaco over their European defeats with a third straight league win to go fifth in the standings while Reims in the relegation trapdoor.